much for Spork on that, and today I'm going to show you guys how to actually cut your own face as your cursor. Now, before I do anything, I have to tell you guys that um, before you guys watch this video, you guys need to watch my other video on how to make a custom cursor. Watch part one and two, but to put your face as your cursor, you're only going to need to watch part two. So yeah, watch part two uh, so you guys could get the basics of how to um, actually make a custom cursor and then come watch this video so you guys can learn how to make your face as a custom cursor okay so to get started first off you need to have a program called icon art 2.0 the link to downloading icon art 2.0 will be in the video description so after you download that scan a, a copy or a picture of your face or your body and scan it to your computer then um, this is the hard part you have to keep going back and forth from Photoshop to fireworks to actually edit out your face so there's only your face. So once you have only your face edited out, make sure that um, you're, it should look something like this. Make sure you have it by, on a 32 by 32, um, uh, 32 by 32, the canvas, the canvas should be 32 by 32, and the background should be this pinkish color that's on Icon Art 2.0. If you don't understand what I'm saying, then you probably haven't seen the, my previous video on how to make a custom cursor. As I said, um, you guys need to watch um, that video in order to get how to do this. So once you've done editing, you're done anything, uh, you're done with everything. A camera size 32 by the 32. The background is the background is the same color as Icon Art 2.0's background, the pinkish color, and you have it the way you want it. Go to File and click Save As. When you click save as, this is important. Save it as a .bmp file. And save it as whatever you want. And then go to Icon Art 2.0 and open it with Icon Art 2.0. And it should look something like this, except with your face. And how you open it with Icon Art 2.0 is go to File, and then click Import from File. And then just double click on that picture. So it should look something like this with your own face, obviously. Now make any last needed adjustments on Icon Art 2.0 and when you're done, to save it, go to File, then go to Save Frame as Cursor, then save it. I'm going to save it as Face. Once you're done saving it, go to, to actually activate it, go to your Start Menu, go to Control Panel. When control panel pops up, click on appearances and themes. So let's wait for it to pop up. Oh, and also one more thing that I forgot: when you're uh, making the last needed adjustments on Icon Art, be sure to uh, set the hotspot. The hotspot is just click right here, and the hotspot usually is on the top left-hand corner. That's where the actual clicking is going to take place. So click accept and then save it. So I'm just going to save it again. Oops. Save frame as cursor. Okay, now when control panel pops up, click on appearances and themes. And then on the left hand side, it's just you should see this. Click on mouse pointers and a new window will pop up. When that new window pops up, click on pointers, the pointers tab up here and then double click on normal select and go to wherever you saved it as and double click on it then click apply once you click apply there you have it there's your own cursor and it's your actual face and this works with everything you could you could you could change it all to the own kind of cursor you could do anything you want with it or yeah have fun with it and be creative and well yeah uh just have fun goodbye